You think a coin flip is fair? It's not. I mean, it's usually fair, but it's not this way. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to the show that teaches you to make the most out of other people's bad decisions. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, and this week we're going to take a coin flip, one of the fairest institutions in all of humanity, and pervert it for our own wishes. Toast, 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 toast. toast. There we go. All right, hanging out at the handlebar, we got Diamond Jim Tyler and two of my favorite people in Austin, Peter Johnson and Jonathan Johnson. What's going on, gentlemen? How are you guys? No welcome. All right, so we're hanging out. We've got, uh, I don't know, let's say the beer tab is a billion dollars, and we need a fair way to make sure that you don't pay the billion dollars. What do you recommend we do, Diamond Jim? We should flip for it. Uh, well, flipping is like kind of hinky, right? It's like there are people who can flip and then like they got skills or you can grab it and look. Well, that's true because your hand. Because you of your hand. You can control the outcome, I guess. You could spin a coin and then your hands aren't touching it. Seems fair. And it seems like anyone can do that because it spins right in front of you. Yeah, everyone. that way you don't control the outcome. All right. Well, do you have a coin? I have a nickel. So this will be for the entire round of beers. You want uh, the heads or the tails? Uh, heads. All right, so, so we're tails, they're heads. Winner doesn't Yeah, pay. let them spin it. Go for it. It's all, it's all, all you. Right, all right. The kick and flip. And you guys want heads? Yeah. Heads. Oh, we won. I think, right. I think we Drinks should on us. Did, oh, I'll <laughs> tell you what, I'll tell you what. Maybe, maybe you guys just got unlucky. We'll go yeah, two, two out, out of three. three. Two out of three. Right. In fact, right. maybe it was the kicky heads. flip that was the problem. Yeah. And you need to do the, the your right. flinger finger. Oh, oh, oh. So, oh. so close. I'll tell you what, best three out of five. Go ahead, right, whatever right. you want. <laughs> no, I think we're getting used. <laughs> Solid. USA! Oh. USA! Drinking That's free, free tonight. Us. Right, awesome. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Our pleasure. <laughs> this is Solid Scam. Doc Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Scam? Looks like domain name registry is a real mess in Alaska. Just as I expected, you'll want to use Domain.com. .coms and .nets are reliable and trusted. If you need to get them, there's no better place, even in Alaska. The promo offers 15% off. Just use code SCAMSCHOOL. The promo code directly stimulates your wallet. No one but you will get those prices. Got it, SCAM? SCAM! SCAM! Boom, 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 boom! What's great about this is it takes an institution that we all know, and we know that there might be something unfair about looking and doing this stuff, and instead it makes it the most fair version of it possible, and yet you still end up winning more often than not. Walk us through our secret plans behind this, Diamond Jim. Uh, this is an ordinary nickel, and we have gapped it just minorly so that the odds are in our favor. And it's something I read a long, long time ago that if you will just shave off part of the nickel, believe it or not, you would think that the smaller side would fall down, but actually because of centrifugal force. Whatever side is heavier is the one that's gonna fall that's down. That's right. right. So what I do is I shave down the head side I just use a file and then I'll mill that down. So basically, you would want to make two of these and yes. wait whether or not they want the heads or tails. Whatever side you want to be face up, you have to shave the edge of that side. So in this case, the tail side has a little bit of a curb, so the head side is heavier and more likely to end face down, yes. right? Yes. And, and it doesn't matter whether you fling it or flick it, as long as you have that edge on there. It's amazing. Did either of you guys even notice, like we made this at home, just, you know, you could use it on the concrete if you just wanted right. to rough up an edge. Did you notice anything off? Yeah, I actually did notice that it was a little like ratty on this side of it, but I just assumed it was getting messed up in your Warm. pocket while you were So even as around. we were flicking it in front of you, it didn't occur to you that this was a gimmick coin in any uh, way? Not at all. That's amazing, dude. That's yeah. fantastic. It's nice and it's easy to do. Uh, the problem is it works about 90% of the time. And right. I don't like things that work 90% of the time. So I went to the trouble of having some special nickels made. I call them winning spinning nickels. Right. So basically I had these manufactured. They were machines, so the edges are tapered. And I bought 2013 uncirculated nickels because when they file off the edges, it creates a shiny edge of the coin. And I knew that if they were old coins, that people might be able to see that shiny edge and it would look suspicious. So in other words, the refined edges are exactly as weathered as the entire rest of the that's coin. That's right, that's right. 
And so with two nickels that with matching dates, you can switch them out if they look at the date. And so this will always land heads up. This one will always land tails up. So right, depending nice on what they call them, this is Here, a head. You, you, take, you take that one. That's heads, this is tails. God, it seems so fair. It's just right there in front of you. Now, I assume that to make sure it does its maximum amount of work, you want to have it moving as fast as possible, yes, right? Yes, because centrifugal forces at work. So in this case, we're actually beveling the edges to cheat and move the odds in our favor. But I read something online. While flipping a coin is truly 50-50, I honestly don't know if this is true. But what I've heard is that the difference in a US penny between the head side and the tail side, as far as the weight, is that it actually is so much heavier on the head side that it'll land tail side up 80% of the time. This may be total BS, and this is one of those times where I genuinely want our much, much more intelligent audience to tell me whether or not this is true, but I figured at the very least we could test it and do 10 of these right in a row. In fact, let me have you guys you do it. You're gonna do 10 each, one with an old style penny, one with a new style penny. All right, ready, three, two, one, go! So yours is tails, tails. yours is heads. Yeah. All right, next. Yours is heads, yours is heads, heads. again. Tails. So heads. what are you at? Heads. All right, keep going, keep going. Maybe the new ones are, uh... Well, I know that yeah, they keep changing the, the composition on these. The Can back is different. Every the back is time. time. Six, Six and zero. Wow. <laughs> wow. Seven and zero. Seven and oh. <laughs> <laughs> you get zero. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. Nine and oh. All right. All right. Ten for zero. As so, yours was six, <laughs> six and, and four. four. Yours was the reverse. It's gotta you know be what? that new penny. Maybe, maybe, it's gotta maybe be. it is. Maybe it's the fact that the back design is different. Yeah. I would love to know in a bigger test whether or not this is the case. So, okay, so we can say this. First of all, we don't know whether or not the penny thing is true or not. Although, that's looking pretty good. That was pretty you, crazy. You try spinning it. Could be luck. Uh, oh, you think it's his skill? Maybe, flick it. maybe. It's not. Nice. Not yet, are you kidding me? <laughs> all right, so maybe there's something to the new coins always landing uh, heads up. Everybody at home tried this out, but we know for sure if you take a file to it, that you definitely skew it way in your favor, oh, right? Yeah. I'm gonna try this one more. There's no way. 12 in a row? It, it can't be. That's 12 in a row. Dude, new pennies are haunted. There's no way. That's 13 in a row? Oh, there we go. There we go. 13 and 1. That's good enough for me. We'll get the fans on this case and they'll tell us whether or not it's real. There you go. Of course, we gotta give a huge thanks to Diamond Jim Tyler for sharing this one with us. You can actually buy his own specially machined spinning quarters at scamstuff.com. It's gear for the modern rogue, everything sneaky and underhanded. You can make all of that happen at scamstuff.com. And of course, you and I should be best friends at twitter.com slash schwood or facebook.com slash schwood. I'm schwood no matter where you go. And there is no C in schwood. And of course, next week, you're not gonna wanna miss it. We're gonna learn how to escape an arson investigation. Spoiler alert, don't get caught. All right, here we go. Of course, we gotta give a huge thanks to Diamond Chim Dial Chub 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 at Scam Scuff Scam. Dude, new panties! Oh, sorry. <laughs> kind of taking the fun out of everything. Like I keep not up. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs>